Okay, so uh, continuing our discussion of lines. So what are relative uh, positions between two lines? So um, two lines, okay, so let, let's do this before we do calculations. Let's do it just um, with markers. So if you have two lines, the first option is that they're just parallel. Do you agree? That's one possibility. Another possibility, okay, they can, they can of course be the same line. Another possibility is, is that, possibility is that they intersect, right, at some given angle. Do you agree? But when you're in three-dimensional space, there's yet a third possibility, which they're not intersecting, however, they're not parallel. Okay? Do you see this? And this should remind you, for example, of, uh, of an interchange on the highway. Okay, there's one road coming here, another one coming here, going on a bridge, right? So the, 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 the bridge and the road beneath do not intersect, yet they're not parallel. Okay, it's called an interchange. Do you agree? Okay, and the, the terminology for this is skew. We say that the lines are skew lines. Okay, clear? So now we want to figure out, suppose we have the equations of two lines, how do we identify? How do we know if they're parallel, if they're intersecting, or if they're skew? Okay, and that's what we want to discuss now. Um, and it, th there's, there's going to be a, a, a surprising guest appearance in this discussion. So the, for, for, for identifying this skew business is going to be uh, kind of neat. Okay, so suppose we have two lines. So, so suppose we have two lines. two lines, and let's say that, that, that um, with, let's call them A1, the direction vector of the first line, we're going to call L1, M1, and N1, and the direction vector of the second one, we're going to call A2, and its components are going to be L2, M2, and N2. Okay. So, when are they... So, so first of all, we know how to define the angle between the two lines. And th this is a matter of convention. The, we, call, we define the angles between the two lines to be the angle between the direction vectors. So in particular, the angle... He, here are two skew vectors, skew lines. I'm going to rotate them so you see both of them. Do you see that there's an angle between them? Okay, but the, so, so the angle is, is somehow a, a, a piece of data that does not distinguish between if they intersect or not. Do you understand what I mean? It just looks at the vectors, and the vectors, I can place them here or here or here. It's the same vector. Okay, so the angle is the, defined to be the angle between the direction vectors, and it does not see if the lines intersect or not. Okay, so that's a comment. So the angle... between the lines is defined to be the angle between A1 and A2. Okay, that's the definition. And we know how to find it. Remember if, so the cosine of the angle is the dot product divided by the product of their lengths, right? Because the dot product is A1A2 times the cosine. Remember that? We, we wrote it several times, okay? So, and, and you do shift uh, cosine and you get the angle itself. And of course, there are always two angles. You can decide if you want the, the acute one or the, the other one. Okay? Good? Okay. Now, when are they uh, uh, parallel? So, two lines are parallel if and only if what? If the angle is zero, right? And they're not the same line. 
Okay, so if the angle is zero, what does it mean that the angle is zero? What does it mean on the direction vectors? Right, the, the, well, I'm not going to use the letter M because the letter M is the Y component of the, okay? But if and only if A1 is parallel to A2. And this is in turn if and only if they're what we called collinear, which means that A1 equals some, uh, let's call it beta times A2, where beta is not zero, right? So it's easy to identify parallel lines. They should have uh, uh, direction vectors which are collinear. One should be a scalar multiple of the other. Good? Okay, so this is one situation. Another one, bullet number two. Two lines, two lines are uh, perpendicular if and only if. What? Right, the angle should be 90 degrees, hence the cosine should be zero, hence the dot product should be zero. So A1 dot A2 equals zero. Do you agree? Everybody? Okay. And again, this does not see, this doesn't, this, these two uh, situations do not see if the lines intersect or not. So in parallel, this actually includes the situation where there's the same line. Okay, and in, in perpendicular, it, it includes the situation where they either intersect perpendicularly or are skew perpendicularly. Okay, okay, good. So the other thing that we said, two lines, two, what is happening to me? Two lines can intersect or be what's called skew. Okay. And the question is, how do we distinguish between these two situations? Okay. So here is the idea. Let's again take some, some color markers and, and try to describe it. And again, I wish I were an octopus. So suppose our two lines, you wait here a minute. Suppose our two lines are the red and the blue. Okay, here are the two lines. I'm going to take, and, and I want to somehow off the equations figure out if they intersect or if they not. So I'm going to take a point on the red line. It's easy to find a point on a given line, right? And I'm going to take a point on the blue line. Okay. Now, I'm going to connect those two, two, two points. So in connecting them, I'm going to get a third vector. Suppose I took the point here and connected it to the point here. Okay, so now I have three vectors. If the lines, if the lines were originally intersecting, that means that this whole picture collapses to the same plane. If the two lines were originally, can you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm starting to confuse myself. If the two lines were originally intersecting, that means they were on the same plane, then when I choose a point on one and a point on another and connect them, the three vectors are now going to be on the same plane. Do you agree? However, if the two lines originally were not intersecting, were skew, then the three vectors, the direction vector of the one, the direction vector of the other, and the, the, the vector connecting the two points that I chose, one on each line, are not going to be on the same plane. Okay? So the question boils down to, this question boils down to, take A1, the direction vector of one line, take A2, the direction vector of the other line, and take a vector, call it M1, M2, where M1 is a point on one line and M2 is a point on the other. And the question is, are these three vectors on the same plane? We had a word for that, coplanar. Remember? And when are three vectors coplanar? Exactly. When their triple product is zero. Okay, so that's what I'm going to write now. So, let M1, let's say X1, Y1, Z1, and M2, 
x2, y2, and z2 be points on line number one and line number two, respectively. Okay, so M1 is a point on, on the first line and M2 is a point on the second line. Now, the two lines intersect if and only if the direction vector of the first one, the direction vector of the second one, and the vector connecting M1 and M2 are coplanar. Does everybody agree to this? Was my explanation, my, my pathetic handling of the three markers, what, was it convincing? Everybody good? Do you want me to say it again? Or, okay. So this is if and only if, this is if and only if, the triple product, and I have to choose a way to write it, so I'm going to write it m1, m2, dot, a1 cross A2, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which you choose in which position, is zero. This is a statement that we, that we discussed. Okay, it involved the parallelepiped having volume zero or not. Remember that, that discussion? So the two lines intersect if and only if this triple product is zero, and this I can rewrite using the determinant. So what is the determinant? The first line is going to be x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, and z2 minus z1. Those are the components of m1, m2. And then l1, m1, n1, l2, m2, n2. This determinant has to be 0. Clear? So the, the, the answer to the questions, do two lines intersect or not, providing they're not parallel, okay? So do two non-parallel, the two, or let's see, two non-parallel lines intersect if and only if this determinant um, is zero. Okay, good. And this is, the, this is a still, it still requires calculation. I can't just look, and look at them and know the answer. I have to find points, calculate these differences, put the, the, the components of the direction vectors, and then calculate the determinant, which is this times this times this times this. Times this times. It's still some bit of calculation, but doable. Clear, everybody? Okay, good. So... Um, yeah, so the, the, our final discussion in, in the context of lines and planes, um, which we're going to do in the next clip, is going to be um, relations between lines and planes. Okay, so lines and planes can also have various uh, um, uh, relations between them, and that, that's what we're going to discuss next.